Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Garry's Mod 13 server using the new Steam Pipe forward slash Steam CMD setup which has replaced the old SRCDS engine. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download the Steam CMD .zip, which is located in the description below and inside that zip will be a steamcmd.exe you're going to want to copy that make a folder anywhere, I'll do it in the root because I find it's easy to access and you're going to need to make a few folders so I've made one called Steam Pipe, you can call it whatever you want like the name of the server and then I've got Steam CMD and then the server folder, this is just to keep things really organized so when you open the steamcmd.exe as you can see it's going to start filling up this folder with all the files that it needs to function correctly and as you can see it's done so you're going to type in login anonymous and that's going to log in and you're going to get a few more files in as it saves the login and in this server folder is where we're going to download the server to so we want to type in force install dir and then you want to type in the directory of which you have installed the server and then app underscore update oops update 4020 and that's just the basic Gary's mod uh, there's an additional parameter you can add to it which is called if I can show you now it's just, it'll be app underscore update 4020 dash validate you should get that if you're missing any of the files such as server cfg the srcds.cfg not cfg.exe and uh, any other files I mean I'd normally run that anyways but I'm pretty confident that valve and uh, the steam servers will send me the files in their entirety so we'll wait for this to finish downloading this could take a while depending on your internet connection and I'll see you after welcome back as you can see the it says success app 4020 has successfully installed that means if you go to the directory in which you and that means if you go to the directory in which you actually installed it then you should be able to see these folders you don't particularly want this one with all the A, B, 4, you can delete it, you can leave it, it's not a major issue I'm going to leave it for now so you want to open SRCDS.exe uh, I prefer to use the UI version because it mainly removes the need for a server CFG so you can type in anything you want here let's type in a tutorial flag or whatever max players 2 I guess and put the oh, I'll compass with this pass words and that should be easy enough and when you do that you'll get a little loading thing come up which should appear soon there you go as you can see it's creating more configuration files as it's the service first launch And very soon it should appear in your local network settings. There you go. So Windows Firewall has blocked the program. And as you can see it's the SSCDS, you just want to allow that access. So now if I press refresh listings. Oh, it hasn't started yet. So use wait here and eventually that will start up on this first launch it will take longer than any other launch but it shouldn't ever take more than like 20 seconds depending on what you're hosting there it is so you can see it's all running 
I know it's all running nice and nice. You can see here it is, you can see the tutorial. I've got my resolution low on this so it fits in the screen. But as you can see the tutorial, it, I'm connected through the local network. If I used the internet it probably would appear. I'm not sure the LAN, I think I set it to LAN. If you set it to LAN it won't appear. But you click join server, there you go. And now we're in game. You can just press Q and spawn any item that you normally would in Gary's mod. And that's it, that's a regular functioning server. You've got the player models. To install additional content, you just do that, but type in a different ID, but make sure it's installed to a different location than the server. So put in, say, forward slash CSS content, and that should be fine as that is. So you put it in like the CSS content folder. And then you want to add it to the mount uh, in the CFG folder and just type in the location of where you put it. Or could move them. But yeah as you can see, regular function server. You can disconnect. And if you check the console, you can see I joined, I suicided, and I left. I hope the tutorial has helped you. If it has, make sure to leave a thumbs up and a comment saying what has helped you. If you have any problems, leave a comment also saying what the problem is, and I'll do my best to help you out. Make sure to subscribe for more awesome tutorials, and we'll see you later.